What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And as you guys know, I've already completely lost my mind. We don't have anything you know, super new and exciting this week, although I guess you consider it new. But, but there is some decent news. Uh, whether we get the eggs in two weeks or a month, it, it's definitely, definitely, definitely going to happen. And uh, a butcher, a new meat packer, also reached out to me. It looks like uh, we might be able to get some hot dog, sausage, snack sticks, and all those products, which I'll talk about a little later. But it's a really beautiful, sunny day outside, so I got down here early. We're going to try to do everything, wrap it up, have my guys finish up the day so I can go get some sun and maybe feel a little bit better. But first, let me show you guys what's going on this week. So a bit less volume on the meat orders than usual. I mean, we didn't do any promotions this week. It was Mother's Day weekend, so I'm guessing not as many people ordering. And we do have some of the non-meat businesses going out too. Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Just a lot of water keeper, really. On the Foods website, we should have the pemmican back this week. Uh, we're going to try to make some more flavor jerky as well. Uh, but nothing new. What is new, we're going to switch the collagen broth and the chicken stock probably over to the meat website and just keep it frozen and, you know, not have too many problems with the glass. It's just, you know, when we put it in the freezer, we have to make sure there's enough space in the top and that it's not hot. So you guys saw in the Jamaican oxtail video on Saturday, we have some nice one pound portions that you guys can use. This is the collagen broth in the freezer now, just cooling off. You guys are gonna get this on frankiesfreerangemeat.com now, as well as the chicken stock so as fresh as possible. They must be putting something in these supermarket broths that's keeping them on the shelf for months and months and months because even when we add salt to it, you know, we still have to make a fresh batch every single week. So uh, now that it's in the freezer, that's not gonna be an issue. The venison Denver steaks are back in stock, guys. Just nice eight ounce steak, very, very lean. Change of pace on the venison stuff. The pork bacon is back in stock. You guys have been buying a lot of it. We did run out of the boar bacon, but we should be getting some of the boar back in this week. So you guys know we have the goat testicles available in one pound packages, but I did something a little new. We have individually wrapped testicles. I know a lot of you guys use these for testosterone, so I figured some of you might want the convenience of being able to buy just one, you know, thaw it out, have it for the week and not have to, you know, separate it and, and eat so many of them. So this is obviously going to be uh, more expensive per pound because there's a lot of labor involved and material costs in doing this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll post this on the website today. Plenty of the one pound Iberico pork. You guys have been liking this a lot. It's some of my favorite too. So yeah, I'm a little upset that I can't get the uh, the beef tendons and the marrow bones back in stock, but hopefully within uh, within a few weeks or a month or two, I have an option because it's kind of crazy. It took me you know, three, four months, even, I think even longer to get that stuff back in stock this year. And now, you know, I've been looking again and again and again, and I still can't get it. So thankfully we at least have the collagen broth. So if you guys are buying like beef tendons or soup bones, then you don't really have to, cause you can just get the collagen broth that's already made. There's nothing added besides, you know, the beef and a little bit of salt. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, we do have a potential supplier for the actual physical marrow, 100% grass fed. That might be a few months away and I'm not 100% sure it's gonna happen. But if we get that, then there's no reason to sell marrow bones because we could just sell you the inside, the actual marrow. Cause it's only like 10 to 20% of the weight of the bone is the marrow. So hopefully that does pan out. But again, I don't know if that's gonna be late summer or fall. So we got a lot of our cheeses back in stock guys. The Asiago, Pecorino, Parmigiano, Fontina, Gouda, Cheddar. What we are running out of is the A2 cheeses. We got the manchego back, but when we get those eggs in a few weeks, we should buy more of the A2 cheeses as well. And I will be putting the rest of the cheese in stock this week. So if you guys have been missing anything, we will have it. So this new meat packer sent me like a sample box of the products he makes. And you know, I mean, it, it's just conventional, regular stuff that like American butchers are used to making like snack sticks with jalapeno and cheddar, like regular pork sausage. It's kind of junky and, and the ingredient quality isn't high, but this guy is willing to do only grass-fed beef and I'm gonna ship him the spices myself. So he's willing to do it, that, that's the important thing. You know, he's a younger guy, he kind of needs the business. So I'm looking forward to talking with him this week and seeing if we could do, you know, hot dog, sausage, uh, plain snack sticks, and I'm thinking of doing like a, an Italian flavored one with organic stuff. So. 
I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. And he might be able to also do um, some of the organs and stuff that we can't get, like the marrow bones and the tendons. Nothing really going on with organ supplements. We do have the trace minerals back in stock, and we are kind of stocked up on everything for you guys. Yeah, I've been saying for the past few weeks, I've been trying to reach out to the uh, freeze-dried beef suppliers, and none of them are getting back to me, so uh, who, who knows what's going on there. Wi-Fi shielding, guys, we have plenty of the, the black shirts and joggers in stock. We did run out of most of the t-shirt sizes. I'm going to try to get some more fabric in and maybe we'll also get some uh, more bed canopies and even some EMF curtains. I did check on the lead powder because I was hoping to have it by now, but I paid them five months ago and they said they just shipped it now. So I don't know if I got scammed or, or not. I could be out $10,000, but uh, it's, you know, sometimes buying from these suppliers, it's just a complete nightmare. So uh, if you guys missed that video, you basically mix lead powder with paint and it's radiation shielding, uh, but check that video out if, if you have any curiosity about it whatsoever. On Frankie's Naturals, we're gonna go back to the old moisturizer cream formula. I thought you guys would like the new one more, but um, well, you haven't, so uh, we're gonna have that ready this week, and I'm also gonna have some hair pomade back in stock, guys. And I, I did wanna thank you all for being patient with the ordering and stuff, mainly the post office, you know. Uh, we, we usually have everything in stock, so when we send it out, sometimes the post office doesn't pick up or they take a while, but uh, we should have all of the orders out by Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. Doesn't look like uh, FedEx is going to happen. You know, they came by, they ran some quotes and everything, and it's, it's still matching the price of UPS, and the website integration is horrible, but I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just trying to stick it out. I, I really don't know what I'm waiting for at this point uh, because, you know, meat, meat costs keep going up. I keep having supplier distribution issues, and if I'm not profiting on the business, like I can't show profit on my tax returns, I can't get a bank loan, I'm not able to get into a new facility where I can process myself and reduce the cost of goods sold. So I'm just trying to stay positive and stick it out because, you know, all my all my social media is censored. The business doesn't really grow, so it, you know it's whatever. You know the way I look at it is I had that dirt bag stealing money from me for two years. He kind of ruined everything and now it's actually been I mean almost a year and a half now since I got rid of them but we'll see we'll see how it goes I think I've said it before guys I told myself when I started this business I needed someone to do it with because like I wasn't physically healthy enough for my liver damage to be down here every day myself so that being said let me let me get out of here and go lay down a few hours and uh, I got some other stuff to do too so as always thank you guys for joining me if you're curious about any of these businesses check out franktestifano.com you can see everything on there guys and if you're curious uh there is some new stuff on the meat website new products new layout a little a few new things here and there so definitely check that out but if you guys could drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos as i said guys frank thanks again